Hey guys, well right now I'm working, oops, see if I can get you out of the wind. Uh, right now I'm working on uh, installing, or wiring up, the head unit. I've built a, uh, come on, get out. A uh, harness I tapped into the key on source and then uh, I ran a couple of wires in uh, that shielding up over following there grounding on that ground point there I cleaned that up a little bit and then I've got it tapped into there so those four I believe Oh, five, six. Those are all hot. So that's perfect. I'll use one of those for the, uh, the power point there. And then the other ones, uh, I'm probably going to run a key on. So that'll be the master one. And then uh, the key on ones will be down there. But uh, anyways, I uh, just wanted to show you guys I got this thing working already. Yeah, that's awesome. I love this head unit. I've had this one for years. CDA 9886. It is my favorite. So, yeah, super, super easy for wiring this thing. Like, I just, I love how open it is and how just simple. All the wiring is so simple. I did a little bit more wiring. I've got this one run here, it goes into its own, um, tapped into the power down there, it's already dark so it's getting hard to see, but I've got a, I can't even see it, uh -huh. right down there, so i got another one tapped in, and that is for this, I don't want to shine the light directly at it, but <laughs> it works. So, that's freaking awesome. I love it. I love it so much. This truck is so freaking awesome to work on. It's just so easy, so, so easy to add extra harnesses or whatever you need. I love it. I absolutely love it. So I'm just picking off the little details right now um, while I'm waiting, so. <laughs> there we go. I love a magnetic roof. <laughs> That's fantastic. So, yeah. Hey guys, well, I got a little bit more done on this. Actually, I got a lot done on this. Um, this works. Let's see if I can show you guys. Actually, I can just jump it like this. There we go. Glow plug light. <laughs> um, so basically what I did is I harvested a chunk of Blu-ray case. This is like extremely redneck. Um, I harvested a chunk of this, cut it into a round circle, a little bit bigger than the, uh, the white circle. Then I used the bottom of an Advil bottle, wrapped some tape around it so I could get a straight cut. Um, I then burned a hole in the, the center of the bottle with my soldering iron, uh, fit a blue LED in there, um, pulled the LED out, rock guarded the thing black, um, and then I hand painted that. Um, I couldn't figure out a way to get it nice, crisp, clean lines, so I took that piece of uh, Blu-ray case uh, with my flashlight behind it. And then uh, painted, painted and painted and painted until I couldn't see through the black anymore. And uh, you can kind of see it. And then, um, yeah, when you turn it on, it's really bright. Then I just glued that lens uh, Blu-ray uh, case to the black piece. And then I glued um, the bottle end to the Blu-ray case. So. And then the LED is just press fit into the back. Um, it's not going to fall out or anything. It was actually quite tight. So that's how I did that. Then I used a uh, proper resistor on the cathode of the LED. And then uh, ran the wires out the nearest hole. 
Um, so what I could do, and what I have done before, is on here, figure out which ones are not used, and then uh, just solder this, the ground onto a common ground, like that. Solder that one right to there, and then solder the positive to one of these that isn't used, and then wire up that uh, plug connector in there um, appropriately. That should work, I've done that before. So, yeah, now I just gotta find out which one isn't used. Oh, four wheel drive. Right there, that's your four wheel drive light. And it looks like that's common ground, which means that one's positive. So I could even do that, wire it up to there. And then, uh, yeah, wire in the four wheel drive uh, plugs, wire into the glow plug uh, relay system. And then, uh, then we'll be laughing. And when I'm soldering to anything on the board, I will scratch it up really good with a razor blade. Um, and the reason why I'm wiring this into the cluster is so that I don't have wires to, to try to put connections on um, to go to the body. Because if, if I need to pull this cluster out for whatever reason, it's all contained. So that's why I do that. So I'll run the black onto this common ground here. And the red will probably, I don't know, get glued down or something and go to there because I don't have four-wheel drive light. Okay, so we got the glow plug light wires out. This one is hooked to common ground. This one is run over out of the way of that and then up to here. So now what I got to do is find the fifth pin up, like a center pin, and uh, install it. It actually doesn't look like one was ever put in there. So, what I might have to do is, uh, next time I go to pick and pull, is grab a, uh, a plug, cut it, and then uh, take the connectors out of it. So, we'll, we'll see what i got to deal with when, uh, when I get into it. Actually, it looks like there might be two there, and they're not going to anything, so we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so here's center inner. And as you can see, I've got a full row of pins on the other side. These bottom two, no, these two? These two are completely unused. So what I will do is cut the wire and then, uh, or I might even be able to trace it back to something and then just disconnect. Or you know what? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Proper way to do it would be to find out where the wire goes and completely remove it. Um, which that's actually what I should do. But I'll, I'll end up taking one of these pins, moving it to this one, and then uh, that will be my glow plug light. So once I get the Cummins in here, I'm going to uh, hook it up so that when the ignition comes on and the glow plug light or the glow plugs turn on, it will put juice to this, and then that light will illuminate. So yeah, very exciting. All right, so I've selected which wire I'm going to cut. It looks like a ground. Um, to get these out, you just run a uh, long flat thing in the back and uh, push up on that little pin and she'll slide right out. So that's fantastic. Now I can work on uh, tracing this one back, snip it, and then uh, run another wire into the engine bay. And I will be ready for glow plug light. Okay, so now i got my black wire. I've got it uh, traced back and cut. Um, I've ran it up into here and then down, where did it go? It's the blue one. Oh, right back here. So I'll run this one out into the engine bay and then uh, when I get the glow plug system, uh, that's when I will install it. So now I'm going to replace the bulbs and put the cluster back in. And then uh, we can work on getting the dash all bolted in and everything. Well, I got the dash mostly back together. There's a few screws that will absolutely not go in. Um, yeah, but it seems to be all working. So, not too bad, not too bad. <sighs> this is kind of irritating though. I really, really want to know why that won't go in. And I still got to cover these up. So maybe I'll take this out again and see why the crap those screws aren't going in. So that'll do it for today guys. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to give her a like 
If you liked the video and give her a thumbs down if you didn't, um, subscribe for more 3 plus 3 action and until next time, take care.